when we studied power of language we studied this equation l star is l plus union epsilon so this equation is correct for every language now equivalent to this equation if we say that sigma star is equal to sigma plus union epsilon then this equation is also correct now during when we studied power of alphabet we studied sigma plus is equal to sigma star minus epsilon now this equation is specific to alphabet we cannot generalize this equation if we consider equivalent equation for language then l plus is equal to l star minus epsilon now this equation is not general we cannot generalize this equation it is correct for some languages and it does not hold correct for some languages so if you study any equation or statement just do not generalize it without giving any proper thought that is what we are going to study in this lecture so we are going to see when this equation will be true for which languages this equation is correct and for this which languages this equation is not correct so consider this example language contains two strings epsilon and a but particular thing about this language is epsilon belongs to l now if we can if we calculate l power 0 then according to this power formula l power 0 contains only epsilon for l power 1 it is l power 0 dot l power 0 dot l l power 0 is epsilon l is this one epsilon comma a so we get epsilon comma a as l power 1 for l power 2 it is l power 1 dot l so it will be epsilon a which is l power 1 dot l which is also epsilon a so if we calculate this we get epsilon a and a power 2 i am not going to describe detail calculations if we calculate l power 3 it is l power 2 dot l so l power 2 is epsilon a a2 and l is epsilon a so l power 3 becomes epsilon a a2 a3 now the important thing to notice over here is l power 0 contains epsilon l power 1 contains epsilon l power 2 contains epsilon and l power 3 also contains epsilon so if epsilon belongs to a for any l power n while calculating l power n it will include epsilon dot epsilon to get epsilon so here epsilon dot epsilon gives epsilon epsilon dot epsilon gives epsilon for any l power n this calculation will involve and you will get epsilon in l power n so for all the powers of the language you have epsilon in that language so in this case if we calculate l star it will be epsilon a a2 a3 and so on so l star contains epsilon now if we calculate l plus as l power 1 union l power 2 union l power 3 so we have to make union of l power 1 l power 2 l power 3 and all the powers of l so we get epsilon a a power 2 a power 3 and so on so this is our l star and this is l plus and they are exactly same so if epsilon belongs to l then l star is equal to l plus so l star is l power 0 union l power 1 union l power 2 and 
so on l plus is l power 1 union l power 2 and so on the only difference between l plus and l star is l star contains l power 0 l power 0 contains epsilon that is the only difference in l star and l plus but if epsilon belongs to the language then every power of l will contain epsilon l power 1 contains epsilon l power 2 contains epsilon and that's why l plus also contains epsilon and for that reason if epsilon belongs to language then l star is equal to l plus now let's come to this equation in our case l plus is epsilon a a2 a3 and if we calculate right hand side l star minus epsilon l star minus epsilon so we have to remove epsilon from l star so we get only a a2 a3 and so on a a2 a3 and so on so l plus contains epsilon l star minus epsilon does not contain epsilon so if epsilon belongs to language then l plus is not equal to l star minus epsilon so sigma plus equal to sigma star and minus epsilon but we cannot generalize equivalent equation for language l plus equal to l star minus epsilon if epsilon belongs to the language then l plus is not equal to l star minus epsilon l plus will be equal to l star do not ignore the notes you will understand some points easily and clearly if you go through the notes do not ignore the notes you will understand some points easily and clearly if you go through the notes now consider next possibility consider a language where epsilon is not part of the language epsilon does not belong to does not belong to l so let's consider language it contains a and b a so l power 0 contains only epsilon l power 1 is equal to l0 dot l so it is epsilon dot a b a this is l so we get epsilon dot a a epsilon dot b a b a if we calculate l power 2 it will be l power 1 dot l so this is l power 1 a b a and l is a b a so this is equal to a a a b a b a a b a b a and then we go for calculation of l3 l2 dot l now x dot y is equal to epsilon if and only if x is equal to epsilon and y is equal to epsilon now we have considered language such that epsilon does not belong to the language now l power 0 contains epsilon by formula when we calculate l power 1 l power 0 contains epsilon l does not contain epsilon so language l power so, so l power 1 does not contain epsilon when we go for calculation of l power 2 l1 does not contain epsilon l does not contain epsilon so l power 2 does not contain epsilon so if we calculate any power after that even l3 l4 l5 then it will not contain epsilon so if we calculate l star then we start union from l power 0 so we get epsilon a b a a a a b a and other strings in l star for l plus 
we will start union from l power 1 l plus is l1 union l2 union l3 and so on so we start from here so we get a b a a a a b a and other strings but important thing is l star contains epsilon because l star contains l power 0 l power 0 contains only epsilon l plus does not contain epsilon because l plus does not contain l power 0 and in this case only l power 0 contains epsilon any other power of l will not contain epsilon so if epsilon does not belong to language then l plus is equal to l star minus epsilon in this case this equation holds correct so to conclude l plus equal to l star if and only if epsilon belongs to language l plus equal to l star minus epsilon if and only if epsilon does not belong to language